Thank you to Gradora for being this video's patron. If you want to pick what deck I do next, support me on Patreon in the link below. Mitch, look, there's new Kribo card. Kuribo, as a deck, has never really had any plays. It could just defend and stall to no end. But with the new cards in Brothers of Legend, it can do anything you want it to. Let's check it out. Open any level 5 starter for theming we're going to use Astral Kuribo. And 5 star Twilight. Astral effect reveal a rank 5 in your extra deck to summon yourself as a level 5. Activate Twilight, tributing it to summon Kuribo, Ba, Be, Boo, and B. Ba da ba ba da ba. Curry Bob effect tribute all five to summon Curry Babylon from deck. Babylon effect return it to hand and then summon the five brothers back from grave. Now from here you can do pretty much anything in the game. Five monsters that don't lock you in any way is a little busted, but here's what we'll do with them. Overly two of them into recital starling, effect add cool ball sparrow. Do it again with another dude to add sapphire swallow. Swallow effect summon yourself in the sparrow. Then sparrow effect add DD Crow. Overlay your last Kribo and the two layerless skin on some blue robin. Then overlay your two starlings and your top future and then Draco future. This is about as powerful as Bird Up's current end board, and it's really funny how Kribo can make the same end board as the strongest deck in the format. It's a negate, three bounces, and a hand trap. Karibo is a really silly deck. It's not competitive, but for some anime cards that have finally come to TCG, they did them justice. If you want to pick them up, you can get them at TCG Player using my affiliate link below, or subscribing and joining my Discord, or supporting me in any of these ways linked in the description. It's all appreciated.